let's talk about why I switched from using only spreadsheet dashboards that I built in Google Sheets to using Google Data Studio as my starting point for building any new dashboard. Um, Google Data Studio, it, you may not have heard of it, but it's basically a new visualization tool, part of like the Google Analytics suite that allows you to connect uh, third-party data sources from Google Spreadsheets, SQL databases, or, or just like your Google Analytics account. Take all of that data and make dashboards out of it um, that are kind of interactive, multi-page, similar to what you might see in like a, a gecko board type of, of paid tool. Um, and I, pr I switched from using spreadsheets to using Google Data Studio for dashboards for a few main reasons. Uh, the first reason is they're way, way better for collaboration. So if you're working with teams and you're sharing reports with people who aren't producing the reports and don't need to look at the data, there's no reason for them to have to poke around in a spreadsheet, potentially break something and feel bad about it. I've had that happen many times and it's just not fun for anyone. Um, so Google Data Studio is a read-only, really, visualization layer for if you want to consume the reports. Um, and the second thing is people who are viewing reports often want to make small changes to those reports. The simplest one being change the date range on the report from, say, like last week to last month or the last year, or however long you have data for. Um, spreadsheets make it really, really tough to set up those charts. Data Studio, if you create a time series chart, chart, which I'll show you later on, you can do that out of the box. So it's very simple to, for someone to drop, use a drop down menu to change the date range, which is, I think, a huge win because um, that really frustrates people who are consuming reports when they can't do that. Um, and the third reason I switched is that I could actually take a lot of the um, kind of metrics calculation, say I'm calculating the average uh, of a data set, instead of doing that within a spreadsheet, you can actually do simple calculations like that within Google Data Studio um, using something they call calculated columns. So you can create a column that is a calculation off of any other column, which is a huge win if you're calculating a lot of custom metrics. Um, and, and really the last reason I switched is that spreadsheets aren't built for visualization. They're built for data wrangling and moving data around. Um, the, the visualization tools within a spreadsheet app, whether it's Excel or whether it's Google Sheets, will always be the least powerful set of tools within the app. That's just the way it, the way it works. That's not their focus. So. That's why I'm, I'm really switching and going all in on, on Google Data Studio for building dashboards. It lets me do all of the stuff that I like to do with pulling uh, you know, data sources, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, whatever, into a spreadsheet, but just gives a sexier kind of presentation layer on that spreadsheet data than having to poke around in a spreadsheet. So in the rest of this playlist, I'll go through a few tutorials in Data Studio, the first one being how to connect it to a data source, whether that's a spreadsheet or a database. Um, second is how to build charts, so how to build time series charts or how to build uh, like simple tables in Data Studio. And the last thing I'll cover is how to style those charts. Data Studio has some really great like out-of-the-box themes that I use for that. So let's dive in.